Hey, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ, bless. Welcome to another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captain. I'm Captain Zabit. To my left, I have Officer Avdon. So today we're going to talk about the side effects of voting. Why do our people believe that voting is beneficial? Let's start with the scripture. Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 17. The book of Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain health. Mm. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So in our minds, in our backwards minds as a people, we believe that voting is going to save us. Voting is going to lead to some type of peace and equality and our people not getting shot down in the streets. When these things have been happening since we had the right to vote, since 1965, but yet they continue to perpetuate into our minds and into our communities that this is the most important election of our lifetime. But yet, they say this every time. They said the same thing when Obama was running. They said the same thing when, when Bush was running. And now here today, they're telling you the same thing that they continue to tell us, and we're still in the same cycle of oppression. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 28. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 28. Yes. The Lord shall smite thee with madness mm. and blindness and astonishment of heart. So we are mad. We are blind. And it is an astonishment to the Lord how confused we are on this voting system. We believe that this system somehow equals to us achieving the goal that we have as a people. No other nation thinks that. When you look at the, the so-called Chinese man, the Asian man, the Italian man, they're able to set up cities uh, uh, amongst this country that work for them. But we can't seem to get it right, right? Little India, all these other places that set up, and they're not worrying about this, this voting system. We are confused. We are lost. We believe that this system is going to help us in some way. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 20. Five. Let's look at that scripture. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name, mm. saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets? So in the 1960s, Martin Luther King and the Southern uh, Christian uh, Council, the Southern Christian Council, what they did was they set up uh, uh, the voters' rights of 1965. When they set those things up, we in our mind believe that that was going to cause some type of change in our community. That did not take away the effect of what the Constitution has said, that we as black men and black women are three-fifths of a man. That didn't change that. What, what happened was they took those same thoughts in reference to us being three-fifths of a man, and they created something called gerrymandering. That gerrymandering system still makes your vote less quantitative towards the overall vote. It still counts even, it still doesn't count as much. That's what, the, what they did in the voters, uh, went with the 1965 uh, Voters' Rights Act. Let's read, uh, read on through Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 26. Yeah. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that mm -hmm. prophesy lies? Mm -hmm. Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. I'll go ahead. Which think to cause my people to forget my name. So this is what happened. It causes us to forget that the Lord is working on by our behalf. That's what voting does. Go ahead. Is that the end of 27? No, sir. Go ahead. Which think to cause my people to forget my name mm -hmm. by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have begotten my name for Baal. So that's we have forgotten his name for this political system that we live in today. Let's jump towards uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 19. Why do we vote? For the victory of battle standeth not in the multitude of a host, uh -huh. but strength cometh from heaven. Strength cometh from Israel. Strength cometh from heaven. Not the fact that you got everybody in your circle to vote, that you're getting everybody to fill out the census. All of these things work in opposition of helping our community. These things do not help our community. The side effects of us voting are, are our people being lost, our people being confused, our people trusting in oppression. 
Let's jump to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 11. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. We are under a strong delusion. We believe that voting is going to help us in some way. The Lord has sent us a strong delusion. Now it's time to wake up. Now it's time to wake up. Voting has many negative side effects to us as a people. It does not help us. Read it again. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion uh -huh. that they shall believe a lie. What do we believe? A lie. We believe a lie. We believe that this political system and us going out and voting is going to tr change the dynamic of our communities. It does not help us, Israel. It is destroying us, Israel. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 44. I want to look at some clear side effects that voting has on us as a people. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 44. Yeah. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. Mm -hmm. He shall be the head, and thou shall be the tail. We are the head. I mean, we are the tail, and they, these other nations are the head. We are involved and wrapped up in this political system, and we are still at the back of the bus. We are still, we still don't have anything to benefit our people and our communities these nations that we that we vote for these people that we vote for they do nothing besides find ways to destroy and deteriorate our community let's go to isaiah chapter 32 verse 5 and 6 the vile person shall be no more called liberal so the vile person the people that are we think are liberal they're actually vile people they're here to destroy us go ahead nor the sure said to be bountiful uh -huh. for the vile person will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity his heart does what work iniquity that's what the liberals do they're working iniquity in your face they saying we are your you we are your friend but when they actually pass policies they do things to actually destroy our nation they agree and push uh uh the, the what they call it uh, abortion they agree and push uh the 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 finances being taken out of our communities and not helping us. They don't do anything to help HBCUs and things like this. They destroy our nation. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 23. The book of Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 23. Yeah. But I will put in but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, mm -hmm. which have said to thy soul, bow down, mm. that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground. That's what happened. When you focus in on voting, you're laying your body as the ground. We're getting walked all over. We're getting walked all over. We're being prostituted for our vote. They tell us whatever. They put these people that's full of nonsense to, to deal with these candidates, and they don't give us no answers to what's going to help our community. Let's jump to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 16, verse 26. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, verse 26. Yeah. That thy children, O Lord, whom thou lovest, might know that it is not the growing of fruits that nourish the man, uh -huh. but that it is thy word which preserveth them that put their trust in thee. So we have to put our trust in. When we focus in on voting, the side effect of us voting is that we no longer have trust in the Lord. Our trust is in this political system. Let's jump to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 and verse 24. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and verse 24. Yeah. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. Uh -huh. And a wise king is the upholding of the people. The presidents and the, and the people that's running for the election today are not wise men. You got Trump saying all type of outlandish, bombastic things. And you got Joe Biden that can't remember today from tomorrow and from yesterday. You got you don't have anybody that's wise for our people. So why even focus in on voting? Let's jump to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 13. The book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 13. Yeah. These all died in faith, yep. not having received the promises, mm -hmm. but having seen them afar off mm -hmm. and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Yeah. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. 
And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. So what we do when we focus in on voting is that that takes us off the thought process that we have our own country. We're focusing on equality here in this country, and that's not what the Lord wants for us. He says we have our own country. If we're mindful of it, we can return. Let's go back to Pro let's go to Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18. The book of Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18. Yeah. Where there is no vision, the people perish. See, but we lose our vision. We have no vision. When we focus on, on voting, when we the side effect, a negative side effect of us voting is that we don't have no vision for ourselves. We want what they want for us. We want to go to them and, and, and have them give us equality when we actually have our own country. If we just focus in there, we'll be able to get back to that. But we so focused on this political system, we don't understand that these are actually side effects. The voting system is actually destroying us. Why is it better not to vote? Let's jump to this. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. It's better not to vote at all, Israel. You got to understand the census and the, the gerrymandering of the whole system makes your vote useless. You are wasting time by even going to vote. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 19. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19. Yeah. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you yeah. that I have set before you life and death, mm. blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. So what we do when we don't vote, we teach our children to, to actually push towards the nation. We teach them, hey, this, this political system is not designed to benefit us. Don't waste your time with that. Let's focus on building the nation. Let's jump to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18 and verse 7. The book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18 and verse 7. Yeah. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and the destruction of the enemy. So if you truly believe the Bible, if you truly believe the Bible, our salvation is going to equal to the destruction of this political system that we see today. Romans 8 and verse 33. The book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 33. Yeah. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? To God's who? God's elect. So God's elect are you, the children of Israel. So stop worrying about uh, voting and, and electing the next president. It's a lot of side effects, negative side effects to voting in this system. And that's, those side effects equal things like us not having a vision, us not thinking about our own country, and our people being destroyed as a nation because we're wasting time by worrying about this political system. So with that, Israel, we say shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.